What's up, Pack Nation? It is Pack here, and I have some really important NBA news for y'all, and that is that Timothy Mozgov was traded to the Charlotte Hornets. I'm kidding. No one cares about Timothy Mozgov. That's not the important one. That is actually Dwight Howard was traded with Timothy Mozgov, and now Dwight Howard is on the Nets. Bruh. Okay, so Dwight Howard was one of the best centers in the NBA like 50 years ago, but he's good kind of still now because he had a comeback season with the Hornets, and I really thought they were going to keep him. But then they were like, nah, we don't need you, fam. So they traded him to the Nets for two second round picks and Timothy Mozgov. Now, Dwight Howard this season was averaging 17 points per game and a ridiculous 30. 13 rebounds a game. He was also still a defensive force, almost averaging two blocks a game. Dwight Howard is still really stupid good. And in 2K, I just realized they haven't fixed his hair, but they'll probably fix it for 2K19. Now, when Dwight Howard's on the Nets, he is the best player on the team. He is an 85 overall and the closest next to D'Angelo Russell, D Lo at 82. Then you have Rondé Hollis Jefferson and Spencer Dinwiddie and Jeremy Lin. So, even though this team doesn't have like the best supporting cast, the supporting cast isn't complete garbage either. So you're gonna have a 1-2 situation with D'Lo and Dwight Howard. The same thing that was happening with the Hornets, but I mean, logic. But look at the Hornets, right? It makes even less sense because now they just have Kemba and that's it. I mean, Jeremy Lamb, it's just Kemba. It's just Kemba. So the starting lineup for the Nets would be D'Lo, Allen Crabb, Rondé House Jefferson, Quincy AC, and then Dwight Howard. This will help out Jared Allen's career too, making him a better defender. He can learn a lot from Dwight, and I actually think this dude's gonna be pretty good too. So can Dwight Howard help the Nets get to the playoffs? I don't know. I'd say they'd make the A seed maybe, but probably not. Who knows? It's gonna depend on D'Angelo Russell and how how much better he becomes next season. So that's a thing. He'd be the second best inside scorer behind Jaleel Okafor. The difference is Jaleel doesn't play. He'd be the best inside defender by a mile and the best rebounder in, on the team also by like a mile. So Dwight is Dwight and he's he's the best player on this team pretty easily. Before the trade happened, the Nets were the 18th best offense in the NBA, the 28th best defense, and then the 26th best overall team in the NBA. But now with Dwight, they would be the 21st offense, so their offense would become worse. They'd be the 19th defense, so their defense would be better, and then the 20th overall team in the NBA. How their offense would get worse getting a better player, I have no clue, but according to 2K, that's what it is. But they'd be the 20th overall team, so it's an improvement, and assuming that D'Angelo Russell and all the young players get even better next season, whole knows what could happen. So what I'm actually going to do is simulate a season with the Brooklyn Nets and see if they can make the playoffs, how good Dwight will be, and all of that jazz. Let's do it right now. So the Brooklyn Nets with Dwight Howard end up being the 10th seed in the East, barely missing the playoffs by one game behind the Orlando Magic and the Chicago Bulls. For the team, still D'Angelo Russell will average more points than Dwight Howard, but just 0.7. Dwight Howard will still be averaging an insane amount of rebounds in the NBA. Things you would expect. And then Jeremy Lin and Alan Crapp got injured surprises. I mean, these are things that I could kind of expect to see. It wouldn't be the craziest thing to happen. But that is 2K's opinion. What do you think? Do you think the Nets will make the playoffs? Do you think the Nets are a better team? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like my channel, please give it a sub. And I'll see you guys next time. Did you call back?